I recently got an update to my phone now allowing me to shoot raw files from the native camera app. Our phone cameras get better and better. So how much astrophotography can we actually do with the cameras that we run around with in our pockets every day? This video is sponsored by Move Shoot Move. More about them later. Now, when we think about smartphone astrophotography, there's a bunch of questions that pops up in my mind. Like, first of all, like how much equipment do you need? Can you just do it with the phone without any equipment at all? What kind of upgrades can you buy? Is there even an upgrade path for this? And that's what I want to try and explore today. And luckily, I got a bit of help because I enlisted past me to go out and take some pictures and investigate how good pictures we can take with just a smartphone. So I'm going to send this over to Past Astro, as I hear you have some uh, pictures you're going to take for us today. Thank you, future Astro. And yes, we are going to be running a number of tests, but the first test is actually quite simple. I just want to see what happens if you just take the phone, open your camera, point at the Milky Way and take a picture. The Milky Way should be around this direction. So I'm going to point it up, take a picture, and I will be transferring this to you in the future now. Thank you, past Astro. We have received your image. And as you guys can see here, it's, it's not great. As just zooming in, we can clearly see that I was not able to keep the camera steady enough, even though the camera actually has gimbling in the, uh, like built into it, so it can compensate for some movements. I just couldn't keep it steady enough to not have, like, basically have the stars smeared out all over the place. But past Astro, I hear you have some upgrades we can try in order to kind of alleviate this problem. Yeah, so the first upgrade we're going to be testing tonight is just a dirt cheap tripod. This is basically the cheapest phone tripod I could get. It has this little clamp at the top and you take your phone, you slide it in like that, you put it down and point it at the sky and that should hopefully get rid of all that shaking that we saw in the original picture. Well, let's go and uh, take a look at it. At first glance, yeah, it looks a lot better. Uh, if we punch in a bit, we can see that there is some star trailing. And that's just because, well, we are exposing for a quite long time. And that just means the stars are going to move and we are not really tracking them. So we could solve this by taking a lot of shorter exposures and then stacking them our, our own when we come home. And especially if you can shoot raws, then you should actually be able to do some pretty decent stacks. Past Astro, is there anything we can do to kind of try to avoid these kind of star trails? Yes, I actually did kind of foresee that problem. And this is why we're now upgrading to the next step up, where we're going to be looking at today's sponsor, Move, Shoot, Move. And this device is actually not sponsored. This is something I bought years ago. This little box here is the Move, Shoot, Move rotator. And this is probably the most compact star tracker on the market. It's super tiny, it's super lightweight, internal battery. And if you need something, you can just shove in a backpack and go this is really it and as you can see i've just taken the uh, mount from the uh, from the little tripod we had before put it all up here everything up here is on a is on a ball point so we can point this in any direction we want and you can actually see here i don't know how well that shows up on camera but there is a little laser here that we can use to polar align this so what you would do is you would turn on this laser you would then use the wedge down here to make sure that this thing is pointed at uh, at polaris which is something like that probably that looks about right. And now if we turn this on, we got a star tracker. And we can now use the ball, um, the ball head up here, just point the phone in any direction, and we can now take tracked images. I'm gonna get this thing away from the street lights, and then I'm gonna beam a picture to you in the future. So now we are really talking. We're taking the same exposure time. We can see we're now getting rid of a lot of those star trails that we saw before. However, if we do punch in, we can see that is quite a bit of processing because, well, stars shouldn't really look like that. They should be a lot more uniform, a little bit more fussy than they are here. So there's definitely been a lot of processing done by the phone on this picture. But for something that you just take with your phone, a single shot, nothing else is done to it, well, I actually think that's kind of impressive. What about planets? Uh, future Astro, is that something we would be able to uh, so take some pictures of? What kind of equipment would we need for that? Uh, now we're really bringing out the big guns. This is my uh, eight inch mid cache grain, and uh, this is a awesome planetary telescope. And in order to get our phone to attach to this, 
we are once again going to turn to move shoot move and this which is their tri adapter and essentially this is a phone holder so you put your phone on here and then you clamp this around an eyepiece and then you have small fine adjustments that you can use to precisely uh, position your phone just right over the eyepiece just a normal eyepiece you would use for uh, for visual astronomy and then you can use that to take pictures through a telescope like this and as i said this is great for planets we have saturn right there by behind a cloud right now but bright star right behind me here is jupiter so uh, let's try to get the thing slew to jupiter and uh, see where we can get this thing attached I can really see the Tridapter being a attractive product to all those people that have a telescope but is really only using it visually but maybe want to try to take some pictures of what they can see visually and to kind of share with friends and family. And it's definitely a lot more affordable than going out and beginning to buy dedicated astro cameras or anything like that. So please go down to the link in the description, check out the Move Shoot Move Tridapter and also the Move Shoot Move Rotator if you are interested and thank you to move shoot move for providing the tri adapter for this video but if we punch in you will also see that there are some craters on the uh, ai processed image that's just outright missing this is basically just a lens camera lens it's a telescope that uses lenses glass lenses 